Hey there. So today I want to show you a, a, a tool that we use to help annotate uh, documentation as well as create uh, annotated screen captures. Uh, and uh, here's the here's the actual tool. Here's a here's a website over here. So here's the tool. What I want to do is show you how the, how this works. So uh, some features really quickly. We can choose pink JPEG or ping. I'm using ping here. Turn the auto save uh, off. Uh, if you turn it on, it'll basically uh, give you a, uh, uh, a folder, ask you for a folder, and it'll save all your files to that particular folder. We can use the same rec as we previously captured, and we can open the folder upon capture. Uh, always recommend updating first. See, we're using the current version. If you click the help button, it will, uh, sorry, this is going to have to, I'm going to shrink this up a little bit so you can see, but if you click the help button, it will show you, uh, it will take you to a, a website or not a website, but a PDF, which explains exactly how to use it. And as you can see, what New Capture does is it puts dots on screens. So, and it actually can actually put arrows on screens as well. So you can use, uh, create dots and arrows. And then with that, you can, of course, annotate easily. Um, uh, the table mode allows you to uh, drop, drag and drop different images into a table. And set the background color, the border color. You can set the overall width, or you can set the individual uh, image width, um, so it'll auto automatically create image tables for you this way. This is a region. See this little highlighted area, at 12. That's a region that you can add to uh, using New Capture. You can add these regions. What we're doing here is we're using New Capture on itself to help explain it. Okay, so let's close that. Uh, so let's let's try this. So we'll click here. And now we're going to grab from the left to the right, bottom right, we're going to grab a picture. And here we are. So the way this works is real simple. We're adding a dot. So dots have a different size. Right now it's small, so let's make it large. So you can see there's a large. Uh, and let's start it, and we'll just say, we'll just, for instance, we'll call out what's going on over here. So I'm going to hold the shift key down. I'm going to drag. There's an arrow. And I want to make the arrow size, let's make it a little bigger, four. I'll make the, the line size. A little bigger, also four. So now you can see. So once, once we set that, I can still move this around. I can move the arrow around if I want to, also separately. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say add another dot. And it'll, in, and when I uh, set the sizes of these, you'll see that uh, they all set together. So if I go in here and say dot size medium, now they're all switched to medium. And let's, this should go to the middle. There we are. Uh, and if I want to say dot color. I can choose a color by clicking here. You can actually change colors, like if I want to change a darker, make this a darker uh, blue, something like this. Okay, uh, I can also move my mouse around the screen and just hold the space bar down. It'll pick up whatever color is underneath that. So you see over this Google Plus, let's pick up this little blue right here. So it'll pick up whatever color, and it'll change these colors. And the same thing is, of course, true with the uh, arrow color. We can do the same thing. I'll pick up the same blue over here. Just hit the space bar. Whoops, didn't get it. There it is. Okay, so kind of get the idea. Uh, now the next thing is we can add a highlight here. If you look, uh, we can create a highlight and that highlight can uh, add a dot. So we can point to the highlight here. I'm, notice I'm using two different I can, I can pull multi, as many arrows as I want out, out of here. Uh, I can move this highlight around. I can drag any corner I want of the highlight and and resize it. So whatever corner I drag, it'll just resize it. Resize it too. I can actually uh, choose the highlight color. And let's grab a blue also here. Okay. And I can say the transparency is at 80. I can make it you know a little darker if I want to. So I can do all this. And once I'm done, I uh, can copy it to the clipboard or I can hit the save button. If I hit the save button, it's going to ask me where I want to store it uh, on my computer and I'll go into, let's go to my documents here and call it test. Save. And now it's going to open up the test folder. Here, let's go here. So here it opened up the test folder and you can see that this is the image I just created right here top so it's got all the stuff on it so that's how it's pretty much how that works um, okay you can also create image tables as well 
Uh, let me show you how this works. I'm going to pull on these files. Here's some files I'm going to use. I go in here and I click on the image table. I want to have, uh, let's see, two across and two down. And uh, so I'm just going to grab some images and drag drop them. And you see as we drag drop them on, on the screen, they automatically get scaled. And positioned directly in uh, uh, in the actual image table, and I can change the background color if I want. Let's grab, let's pick up this color. Okay, so you see, there's a background color of blue on there. Uh, once I'm done, um, I can I, I can also another, another cool thing I can do. I can, I can hold the I can hold the shift key down and click here, and I can drag whatever it is I want. Whatever I want, it'll put it in this area right here. So that's kind of cool too. Let's, let's, let's do that again. So hold the shift key down, click here, and just drag whatever images that I want, and it'll go, it goes automatically in that. So that's kind of a neat, neat feature as well. So once we're done, we hit the OK button, and we can still we can we can still add our dots. And when we're done, we hit save. And place the test ping, and here's our here's our image right here. Okay, and that that about that about uh, finishes up this quick quick and dirty demo on uh, new capture.